All right, so I got the Nintendo Switch hooked up. And what we'll do now is we will run through a quick setup of what it wants to do. So this is straight from power on. It's going to want you to slide your Joy-Cons on there. So we can do that. Give that a quick slide. Probably at some point going to want us to install an update. So we put them on. Bam. Jumps into the screen. Little splash screen. Selects the language. So I'll just turn it my way and get that done. Touch English. And the region Americas. Oh, uh, we'll accept the end user license. Right, nobody reads them suckers. So right now it's searching for networks, wireless networks. And they come up. I will pop in pop mine on there. So right now it's accessing the network, doing its uh, test, make sure everything's good, we're good to go. Wait for the next screen. Maybe I gotta click something, yep, click OK. All right, set your time zone. So we're not Los Angeles or Vancouver. I will scroll to Toronto. Oh, it goes by UTC. So, to turn it this way to find out what I'm doing here. All right, where is the time zone? be nice if they had a search function and you can just type in your city instead of going through this whole menu. We are getting close. All right, here we go. New York, Toronto. So I'll select that one. Okay, so it asks if you want to connect to a TV right now or do it later. We'll do it later. Okay, now it's asking to detach the Joy-Cons. We shall do that as requested. So now it wants me to use the left stick to select next. I did. And then push A on the other side. There we go. So we can use the console with it attached or not attached. So what it looks like is it's telling me to use the kickstand, which I'll try to pop out in the middle of the video. There we go. Now, I'm not quite sure. Gives you one kickstand for this screen. This feels a little flimsy. So, it would have been nice to have a second one, but we'll give that a shot. So, we can do that. It tells you how to do that. I'll press A on this side here. All right, so now we can set our icon, <coughs> set our icon and information. And I get to pick who I'm going to be. Let's pick, let's pick uh, Samus from Metroid. And a nickname. Well, I'll put in my nickname. And OK. 
and I'll skip. Next, it's going to ask you if you want to do additional users. We're going to skip that part. And we will skip parental controls for now, but you can set them right now. And press the home button. Press the home button right there to get this, this go to the home screen. Here we go. And there we are. Quick setup of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, parental controls, probably just going to tell you to set what games kids can play, uh, what rating you're going to allow them to play, and so on and so forth. Now it's asking us to insert a game. So let's do it real quick. Put that here. Do it real quick. We'll pop in Zelda. And let's see what happens. PS3 has that fantastic splash screen, right? When you pop a game in. Pulls up a nice background, animated background. Figure out how to get this game cart slot tab open. There we go. Slightly difficult with no nails. We got it. All right. I guess we'll figure out if we put the game cart facing forwards or backwards. Let's try it forwards. Perfect. Just clicks right down in there. Close the flap. Zelda shows up on your screen. Just like that. And well, let's try tapping it. This is my first time getting going too. You're ready to start system update. Ah, I knew it. There's the update. There is the update screen. Wanting you to update already. Oh, camera's not showing it, but it's there. Right there. It says update. Get ready to start the update. So, won't bore you with that, but that is the basic setup of your Nintendo Switch. Thanks guys for watching.